All right, that's the first fish we've caught this morning. First fish I've caught this morning, I guess I should say. These blue catfish are up in this timber this time of year because there are cormorants roosting in these trees. And uh, this is actually not a blue catfish, this is a channel catfish. I thought I was gonna catch a blue cat, but uh, no, that's a blue cat. These blue catfish are up around these trees and in this timber because the cormorants are roosting in these trees. And the reason why is kind of gross, but cormorants spend their days eating shad. And they eat a bunch of shad and they have very poor digestive systems. And the shad basically just goes right through them and it drops in the water. Well, at night, you get big congregations of these cormorants roosting in these trees that are dropping that partially digested shad into the water and the blue catfish just flock into these areas. It's like nature's form of chumming. Now, this is not a monster blue catfish by any means, but a, a good, solid, what I call box fish. If you're just wanting to catch some numbers, a keeper size fish, you can catch fish like this all day long and catch big trophy blue catfish also. There we go, he's popping at it again, just barely. All right, there we go. Uh, well, I was right up on top of them. That's another nice blue catfish. You know, these aren't huge fish by any means, but if you're looking just for a lot of action and bread and butter catfish, you can't beat this. You'll catch some big trophy catfish fishing this way as well. A lot of numbers and just everything in between. Boy, this little fish just, there we go. There he is. Right up at the bottom of that tree again. That's not a monster fish, but it's another good keeper fish, especially if you're looking for some fish for the table. All right, there we go, one popping at it right here. There we go, he's got it. I've caught several fish here, and uh, none of them have been real large, but a number of real good just eater fish. If you're looking for some fast-paced action, this is a great way to fish. You'll also catch some larger catfish as well. And uh, there we go. It's a nice blue catfish, especially if you're looking for a few to put on the table. These fish are up around these cormorant roosts where you find these large numbers of cormorants sitting in these trees. It's kind of gross, but the cormorants basically just run around eating shad all day long and they have very poor digestive systems and the shad just kind of goes right through them. So what happens is they go and they sit in these trees at night dropping that partially digested shad in the water and it's just a natural form of chumming. The blue catfish flock to these areas and feed on that partially digested shad. So anywhere you find large numbers of these cormorants roosting in trees on a day with very little to no wind, you're gonna find blue catfish up underneath those roosts. There's another one. Oh, that feels like a little bit better fish. He's got some shoulders to him. So when you're fishing for these blue catfish under these cormorant roosts, oh, there's some tussle to him. You want to uh, make sure that you're using some good heavy duty fishing line. What I'm using today is 30 pound braid. And I've just got this rigged with a traditional bobber. This is a round weighted foam float. I've got a size number four, 4X strong treble hook. No swivel, no weight, no nothing just a bobber, a hook on the braided fishing line. The rod that I'm using is my own personal fishing rod that I designed, Chad Ferguson's Signature Series Catfish Rod from Whisker Seeker Tackle. 
any fishing rod will work. You just want to make sure that you use a rod that is light and comfortable for you to cast all day long for extended periods of time with some sensitivity to it. You also want to make sure that it's got a good strong backbone because you'll hook into some big blue cat fishing like this and you want to make sure you got the strength to horse those fish in when you need to. Okay, there we go. There's another one right up underneath the base of that tree. Not another big fish, you know, great big size, but just another good solid eating fish. And all right, there we go. Caught another one. So what I'm doing is just casting up around the base of these trees with punch bait or stink bait and a bobber and I'm just flipping these baits right up around the um, the bases of the trees and up around the limbs where these cormorants are roosting I throw it up there let it fit sit for just a few seconds and if I don't catch a fish sometimes I just kind of pop it a couple times give it a little movement if I don't get bit, then I pull it in, cast again, make a few casts around that tree and cover it really well. And more often than not, with very little wind and a tree full of these roosting cormorants, you're going to catch catfish like this blue catfish right here. If you want to learn even more about the techniques I'm using in this video today, go down below. I'm going to drop some links in the description to help you learn how to go out and use these techniques more effectively. What I'm showing in this week's video is just kind of a simplistic view to it. There's really a lot more to it than this, but this should be enough to go out and uh, get you started so you can just be a little bit dangerous. If you want to learn even more, be even more effective, check out the links in the description. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, hit that bell notification, and subscribe to the channel.